Yes. Well, you know what? It has been a beautiful stretch of summer weather, although this week, Pamela, yep. A little bit bumpy. Mm. Yeah, unsettled, and it's because we have this frontal boundary that's kind of stuck right over New England. It's going to sag a little bit to the south over the course of today and tomorrow, giving us repeated storm chances and also eventually a big cool down for the end of the week. But for today, again, any storm or shower that develops has the potential to set down some very heavy rainfall, localized urban and small stream flooding, damaging wind gusts. There's going to be some impact on this only because maybe an ice. Isolated storm will have a damaging wind gust, but some strong gusty winds, perhaps, as we see things develop this afternoon. Hour by hour timing, we stay mainly dry, but late this morning, some showers develop in northern and western parts of Massachusetts. And then this afternoon, some spotty isolated storms across southern New Hampshire will expand towards the Boston area, too. Three o'clock, it looks like those hit or miss garden variety showers and storms once again. Heavy rain, torrential rain from time to time, too. Wouldn't be surprised if we saw some localized flood warnings and maybe an isolated severe thunderstorm warning due to that damaging wind threat. But then, once we lose the daytime heat, we start to lose a lot of that instability and overnight tonight is going to be mostly dry unless we get some pretty powerful storms to uh, kind of linger into the early overnight hours. But visibility reduced in some spots now down to a quarter mile or less on Nantucket, three quarters of a mile or less in P-Town there and the same for Orange, nine in Bedford, not too bad with the visibility around the Boston area, but some low lying valley locations. That's where you have some denser fog. Temperatures are starting off in the 60s, 70s. It's a very muggy start to the day. We're going to keep the humidity around all afternoon. Breaks of sun and again that sunshine not a good thing because that'll help to fuel some of those storms later today. Overnight lows in the 60s and it's going to be another muggy forecast. Tomorrow temperatures are very interesting. We'll be in the 70s from Boston to Bedford, 80s to the south and cooler temperatures to the north. Might even see some highs stuck in the upper 60s and then even cooler weather on the way for Friday as we're going to be socked in with all those clouds with an onshore wind too. Cape and Island forecast today not bad but keep an eye to the sky 79 to Thursday 81 degrees with scattered storms again and Friday more widespread rain with temperatures across the board in the 60s and then we just in time for the weekend warm things back up it'll be beautiful both Saturday and Sunday with some more sunshine